does mark one year since Madison's top cop was sworn in as police chief. NBC 15's Christy Diamond sat down with Chief Mike Koval to reflect on the past year and look at what's ahead. It's been a year of ups and downs for Madison Police Chief Mike Koval. He's added mental health and neighborhood officers and implemented a burglary and violent crimes unit. But he's also faced a wave of criticism in the wake of three officer-involved shootings under his watch. Well, I'd say that the biggest thing that uh, describes it is it's a roller coaster. One that started a year ago today as Mike Koval was sworn in as Madison Police Chief. Just let us show you what we're capable of doing. And those capabilities have been put to the test. I think that there's been an awful lot of good that's been accomplished in the first year. And unfortunately, uh, given the, the tenor of the times, some of those things have been overlooked. Officer-involved shootings bookended Koval's first year with the most recent one of Tony Robinson. <laughs> thrusting him into the national spotlight. I obviously would be the first to say that I didn't think that I could have the same common denominators of a Ferguson. I was wrong. Koval says he's working every day to ensure his department isn't defined by those incidents. Whether it be in the neighborhood initiatives, our work in the schools, um, so many of those sort of things, mental health initiatives, never been better. Looking ahead at year two, the chief plans to better address racial disparities and Madison's younger population. I think we have to look do better in terms of our teen violence and teen interventions. I mean, our youth, our schools, uh, they represent our future. A future Koval knows will still include challenges, as he admits community trust in his force is lower now than when he started. That trust has to be regained, and we have to continue to double our efforts to earn that trust back for those who have broken away from us. To do that, he's relying on the personal interactions between officers and citizens that have made him proud to wear this uniform for the past 30 years. I do think that it's those one-to-one -one contacts, one call at a time, one person at a time, the caring, the compassion, the consideration that makes me the proudest. That's the thing that I still want us to be uh, our signature card. Now, what you saw was just a portion of our interview. Chief Koval also talked about his approach and how he feels sometimes it doesn't rub off well on everyone. To hear more from that interview, you can head on over to our website, NBC15.com. I'm Christy Diamond in downtown Madison, NBC15 News.